One of the things I wanted to go over is to get as much as possible out of the coaching and the templates uh, for the program design that I gave, I gave you guys, right? So you get 12 months of small group personal training that you can just plug in. But I do want you to understand how it works when you look at this, right? Uh, you've seen, I would say, you've seen some of the videos that are in here breaking down even how to write the program design for it. But I wanna go more over the logistics of if you have an hour long you know, training session for a small group, how does it run? Okay, so at the top you have, you can see we have dynamic warm-ups, and it says about eight to 10 minutes. Now there's a whole uh, video and a, and a template of how we organize our dynamic warm-ups um, and you know, what to use in those eight to 10 minutes. But I think that we start with you know, more single, uh, single joint stuff. So go single to multi-joint, we go from slower to faster, you know, and we go from simple to compound, okay? And again, you guys will also have multiple dynamic warm-ups that you can just take and plug in uh, also inside of this course uh, that you'll be able to see. So after the eight to 10 minutes, right here is where we break down the, war the workout. Now the thing is, these are four week, right? So these are four week programs, okay? So imagine that it's a brand new week. I'm gonna break you down this program a little bit more uh, because this will be the intro week. So week one is the intro week. Right, and then every week after that, week two, three, and then four, we're trying to progress. And then like week three and four, we're really trying to push and PR on this, okay? And block one is always gonna be strength power, okay? Or should I say majority of the time, is gonna be really focused on strength. And there's gonna be some power component there too. So this example here, right, we have a trap bar deadlift for a set of four, uh, broad jumps for a set of four, and then dumbbell bench press for a set of six. Now, because this, this is strength and power, this, we're taking longer rest breaks. Now, even though, uh, even though we have a block of time outline, okay, now remember guys, like I've done this for a long, long time, optimizing it, figuring it all out. 14 minutes is in that hour long, uh, like I said, session, because remember you got breaks in between two, after the warm-ups, once I say, you know, three, two, one, we're gonna go for 14 minutes in that block. And we teach people, hey, listen, here, you're not trying to run around from one exercise to the next like it's a conditioning circuit. Take your time, okay? And of course, set number one, when they're doing trap bar deadlifts, is not gonna be their set, heavy set of four, right? They're gonna ramp up. And what, like, so for example, let's say that somebody can do 250 pounds for a set of four. They would probably go, uh, you know, 135 for a set of four, and then even put on some more weight and like go about, you know, before they move on to the broad jump, right? But only in that first round, they'd go do a set of four, put on some more weight uh, to like, for instance, 135, go to 165, do the set of three, then go do broad jumps. And their first set of broad jumps, they do them at 70%, okay? Then they go do dumbbell bench press, do a set of six. Again, a ramp up set, right? Maybe 70% of the load. Round two, they're coming in here and they're either going very close to that heavy four, right? Some people might even be warmed up enough to do it, but most of the time by round three, I want everybody here to go really heavy four, jump as far as you can for those uh, four broad jumps and then go heavy on a, uh, on a six uh, dumbbell bench press for six. And usually we're gonna get about three to four sets of this in that time frame, okay? Three to four sets. Okay, because now we got a good strength stimulus. Again, they didn't run from one thing to the next like it's a conditioning circuit. They put, took plenty of time and we're going heavy and or fast, right? And what I love about this is because like this is a contrast set, right? We do trap bar deadlift and it's a similar movement pattern, but we're adding some power components to it before they go to bench press. After that, right here, we're gonna be four block, be between block one and two, we have people put the weights away. We're probably gonna have about three to four minutes, okay? as you become more efficient. And then we go into block two, which is the muscle building block, okay? In this example, we're gonna do, now in a muscle building block, we do push them to where they're going a little bit faster pace, okay? And it's almost like a strength circuit, almost, right? So we got dumbbell reverse lunge, then we got one arm dumbbell row, and then we have band pull aparts. And this is just an example of, like I said, we wanna do some more pulling than we do pushing here, okay? And they got 12 minutes, and in those 12 minutes, Let's say, you know, it takes them about three minutes to get all these three in with, with decent breaks. That means they should be able to get about four rounds of this in. All right, some folks will get more, 
right? But anywhere from three to five, you know, some people might get six rounds if they're really pushing it, okay? But it's a good chunk of volume. And what we'll do week to week to progress it is here, we're always, we're not trying to progress reps, we're always just trying to progress weight a little bit. Here, we are trying to progress reps and we'll go, you know, week two will be nine reps, nine reps, 13, and so on and so forth. We're just gonna usually add a rep and or we'll add some other variable like a two second pause or one second pause, right? So we're gonna progress it some way. We might add, you know, week three might be three second eccentric on everything. So there's more time and attention. So we're gonna make it more challenging in some way, week to week to progress so people get more volume in some format or another. And then from here, again, we're gonna probably have about a three to four minute break. And then our block three is either metabolic stress or conditioning, right? Metabolic stress meaning high reps. So think pump work, right? So what would be a, an example of that might be, you know, band shoulder raise pulses and then single leg hip thrusts or banded hip thrusts for high reps, 30, 25, 40, right? And putting that into a circuit where it's just burning. So we get, you know, restriction of blood flow. And obviously this is effective for building muscle. Uh, but so if we do that, it will be a whole four weeks of metabolic stress. Or we might do conditioning, like a 10 by 10 protocol, which is those, you know, 10, 10 yard acceleration sprints. And then we'd, when we break for uh, about two minutes, and do them again, or a kettlebell swing, imam ladder, right? And again, this is another thing that we usually just progress with rounds and volume, where it's just pretty simple to do. So then when you break it down and you look at, okay, cool, we got like, let's say we got about eight minutes here. Okay, then we explain three to four minutes, uh, four minutes, then we got 14 minutes. You know, those two breaks are another six minutes. We have 12 minutes and 10 minutes. And as you break this together, it's like it's 12 and 14, uh, that's uh, 26, 32, 48, 58. And I promise I didn't even uh, kind of finagle that before that, but that takes you right about 58 minutes. Uh, again, we have a minute, we have an hour to an hour five as we transition. Because like I said, I understand and been doing this in a real world setting for like 15 years, that you might have another session, class, semi-privates, one-on-ones going on, and you got to keep it in that time frame. And that's how this has become so effective uh, and when you look at the programming on the downloadable sheets, like I said, for the whole year, it's always going to be broken down into block one, block two, block three. And also, I wanted to go over this because of the format so that you understand that this, you're really focusing on people getting stronger, having great, excellent form, foundational form, and continuing to progress the weight, right, week to week. Here, we're going to progress some reps and or add some type of intensification variable. We're trying to get more volume, right? And here, again, conditioning, we're gonna add rounds to the same thing, add volume to that conditioning, uh, and, and same thing with metabolic stress, right? And this model just works. It's so much easier to program, but again, you know, I actually took a year of my programming in my small group and gave it to you guys so you can like not do anything, just insert it, and you're gonna see people get phenomenal results with it, okay? Now, also, one of the things that I wanted to uh, touch on, you're gonna see a, a downloadable PDF of uh, some coaching strategies. We're talking about in-class, in-session things that will help you because you want to streamline this experience. So even if you have a team so that people are, are your, coach, your coaches are running it the same way, uh, that you're you know, taking these lessons and uh, to give you a little like insight, it's actually a part of my book that I'm uh, releasing next year. Uh, is, is a chapter, for, uh, you know, distilled to the most important stuff for you guys that you can download so that your coaching sessions become better, you connect with clients better, you communicate with clients better, you coach them better so they get better results and you'll get more referrals, better word of mouth and everything else. So make sure, like I said, you go over this, you implement it. This is the framework for the programming when you see it inside of the course.